Welcome family, welcome back to the vlog. Today we are on set. I am on set for something. I did not know about this. <laughs> I did not know, but you know, when they call, you have to answer. So I did answer, and trust me, <clears throat> this is a really sci fi. No, but we're not buying nothing. I'm not buying anything. All this is being paid for. So. It's a sci-fi set and everything is just very fictional. So <laughs> they slim my beard, but you know, ah, I didn't want to do it, but that's how it is. So we're on a small break. <clears throat> I'm gonna take a little bit of water because you know I gotta be hydrated and everything. <sighs> My location for today it's at the pink studios this this is where they shoot all the Zadruga and Parovi stuff here in <coughs> Belgrade Serbia so that's my well this is the, the set for today so I'm not too sure if they will be having some other different places but this one is not a commercial it's a American and um, yeah, it's a little bit different to what I have um, accustomed to. Actually, this is the first time for the year since um, since starting the shooting films because as you all know that I showed you all for commercials and stuff. So this is the kind of costume here for today. If you can see properly, have this. This kind of um, scientific alien kind of um, look to it. So, yeah. Um, Pink Pink Studios. Yeah, I took water from the from the the, the stuff there. Pink Studios, Belgrade. We on set. Another casting life. Uh, let's see how it goes today. Came down from. Um, left home at three, four o'clock this morning so let's see how long we're gonna be here I'm gonna be here so don't forget to like share comment and subscribe on to the vlogs <laughs> Uh, I think I was here. I was here, yeah. Okay. I was here. Right, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. 
Wait, 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 bro. Wait, wait. Oh, sorry. But. Okay. The like this. Oh. Okay, open your hand, please. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. You, you put that. So sorry. Yeah? Wait, wait. No, no, make a wish, make a wish. Wait, wait. Me, I'm here. I'm now giving you four, four balls, okay? Four balls? Yeah. But I have to see it first. First, so, make a wish. Make a wish. So, make a wish. Make a wish. Yeah. Open now. Open now. I, I make, make a wish. I wish, I wish to finish the shooting at four. <laughs> but you. your wish is here. <laughs> but your wish is here, bro. <laughs> open it. Open it. Open it. Open it. Open it. So family welcome to the next day so yesterday as you all have seen i was at the studio in that sci-fi effect galaxy kind of thing it was interesting it is interesting to see how they create it and how the amount of effort they put in the de small details and stuff they want to that shooting that we are doing is not a film it's a series um, I don't know what it is or probably it's a new series or something I do not know I have no idea I did not ask all I know I just got the call from a different agent saying that you should be there and I was there so I have um, I just want to talk to you all about some stuff that I really never give you all how it's like the experience in working with those people and how is it what does it feel like so i want to be probably as clean and clear as possible so you all can know and kind of feel where i'm coming from and see what i'm that is how it is so let's jump right into it but before that look at the temperature for today yeah it's raining and i'm sitting right here in front of my window here again looking at my neighbors it's a windy day it's overly cloudy overly cloudy as well a little bit of rain will fall soon i can see the the flakes i mean the flakes the the water droplets in the air as it start cascading down slowly and uh, yeah the heater is working look at the look at the the clouds Yeah, that's the clouds up there. That dark gray clouds. Yep, that's how it is. Belgrade. The 31st of March. Could you believe it? The 31st of March. The next day. April's Fool's Day. <laughs> well, what happened over there? Somebody window just closed. Or the neighbor closed her window. Oh my my face looking white man anyhow 
I need to do some face cleaning, proper face cleaning. I have some bumps from some small chocolates. Man. Okay, so let's get into the video. The studio that we were at is the Pink Studios. The buildings are really big inside. It's, it's basically um, giant warehouses. I can refer it to is basically like that and inside they have like the different setups the different sets that you will be going to depending on the film or series you will be shooting at that location but i think for the most of the time that's the location for the filming and series sh uh, shootings in that place down there so as i said this this series is basically like a sci-fi it's it's a it's a sci-fi kind of thing so i mean i don't watch those type of stuff but persons were just enlightening me that how i think the director is the one that did um the movie independence and not too sure about that but you all probably know y'all are more um, into those who is this director what is this director i mean i i only just watch movies based on the thrill that i get and if i can have a good laugh session don't care about who is director of this who is director of that nope i mean we all have different likings on what we do in terms of movie wise and all those stuff and here yeah, I've seen the Serbian magician <laughs> the magician exposed. That's all entertainment. I mean when you go to those those things, it's can get it can get so boring that you have nothing to do. Everybody just sitting wrong like what you have seen. Sitting wrong outside just doing whatever they they want and it's very frustrating just to be sitting, no tents, nothing that you can be protective from the elements if it was if it, just imagine if it was a raining where we would have gone um, because they don't want nobody inside of the place where they are f um, setting up the shots and stuff everybody have to be outside and then the if you if you make a whole pile of noise then they have to cut and do a retake on the session again and all that stuff but you know I as I, I would say it now, I prefer to do commercials instead of series and uh, movies. The treatment, the catering, the service is a lot better with um, commercials than with those stuff. And the payment is a lot better as well. But, you know, there's some, um, there's some injustice that is going on within that um, industry between agents and the whole <clears throat> system of how they they do that stuff it's a lot of injustice and trust me it's not it's not a good thing for for foreigners and for serbians i don't know i know i see it as as work but as a means of getting money but I really don't know that's to, just to talk about that situation is so frustrating that in just to know that the serbians are paid a lot less than the foreigners because the foreigners they are hard to find and some of us don't really want to do certain stuff that they want to do so in order for us in order for them to get us there they have to increase that price so that it can be deemed favorable by us in order to really do that but you know cheap labor cheap places everybody just fighting for it and taking the bigger cut in whatever they can find so you know and also for movies and series the costume rehearsal is paid 10 euros everyone gets 10 euros for that stuff so that's that's where everyone gets the same amount of money for the first day you go try and costumes take some pictures and then they set you in the set the on set is it's, it's nice it's you have to try and imagine what it's gonna look like or how they are going to cut some shots and bring in what i mean you have to be uh imaginative on that stuff as well although you are there just to fill in a role but 
you also need to like figure out not figure out to hurt your head as figure out figure out that stuff but just to kind of have like a glimpse in the future like how are they going to do this how are they going to make this shot what is this what is that i mean just to be interesting so you can pass the time up from if you go there from like six in the morning to six in the afternoon or four in the morning to four in the afternoon so what's it like working with them okay so they will give you different positions and then you have to show some emotions depends on what they'll tell you do some emotions some sad emotions some happy emotions um just to have the reaction from the crowd because you know um within all of these things you get for um depends on the emotions and stuff people watch all these all these movies and stuff so and they have an experience to talk about like what they did or what how was the the acts and everything on screen so they were telling you have to show emotions and all that stuff i mean that that is okay but when you're showing emotions and then camera is not on you it's like man why am i showing emotions because <laughs> if you, if i'm not going to see myself but you know the main focus is on the actors that are there to really um be the star the highlight yeah so how i'm looking at how i'm looking how i'm looking yeah as you have seen man yesterday when, and um in that um costume rehearsal they want to make sure that you're looking a certain way like young youngish <laughs> if i can possibly say that but they does not tell you that they would cut your hair and stuff so this is another this is another another aspect of self-image i mean you want to create your self-image and them just want to destroy that image in just basically three seconds so they cut my they cut my beard and everything so it was not shaped like this so i had to this morning shape my beard up a little bit because i mean those persons they don't know they just don't know even down to the catering they have to like um do catering they have to do like a itinerary for like the foods and stuff the type of food they will be offering to the actors and production team and those people that does basically working me and all those others you see so they have three levels so <clears throat> so we are getting the worst of the worst of the worst level so we are getting third level worst food it's hot it's just some potato with meat because yesterday they had like um potato with uh prescovitsa with um ham hamburger meat mixed hamburger meat which is pork and stuff so i tell them i don't eat that stuff and then they have other persons that are vegetarian and vegan or not all that kind of stuff and, and when you're changing the, yeah the rain is falling now the rain is coming down wow it's good because we need some strawberries and some cherries to be in season this is a season for those stuff so get some good rain now make those stuff come in and then have some strawberries to eat because um I'm, trust me i'm looking forward to eating a lot of fruits this uh, this year i just want some fruits I've, i'm tired with a whole pile of macaroni rice and potatoes now i can't make it i want some fruits that's the bad thing about living over here the, the climatic conditions does not serve you properly back in the caribbean no matter what time no matter what season i can surely bet my bottom dollar on i have fruits in the backyard i can just go pick and eat any time of the day anytime i want but here everything works on a season and price if you cannot pay the price and it's a waste of time that is the headache of living over here ah man and let's continue with this headache so in in transit in the transition of different scenes now scenes that you have seen a lot of persons outside 
that I showed you on the bench. There are a lot of persons in that um, shooting that they basically want you to trample over people. Bruh. They want you to trample over people to get off the set fast. Like in a, in a flash. I was like, bro, what is going on? I am at the back. You want to push me out to trample over people to get off the set fast. That can't work. That cannot work. It's not working like that. The person in front needs to move fast so that the person in the back can move faster. What do you think? How do you think a traffic jam works? You want the person in the back to push their bulldoze the way through the traffic to get to the front. You cannot do that. That is an accident. And then you have problems. And then you cause a chaotic um, buildup, which in results in stuff that you're not going to be prepared for. So working with those people, the the what the set managers and all those people, those people that want to come around and well let's say it like that you have the boss you have the sub boss and then you have um the subcontractors and then you have workers so we basically workers getting forced on by the the contract the um the contractors wants to push us out it's like that and then the sub the sub boss wants to do all the comments pass down to the contractor and then contractor want to do this but sometimes the contractor doesn't get what the the sub boss wants to say so it's a whole chaotic moment when you're on on, you're on that stuff so the working working with those people trust me they need to they need to manage to, to me, it's not managed properly. They need to they need to have some level of proper management in in that stuff. I don't I don't really feel they they managing that stuff because everybody wants to they, they just they because what they want to do they just want to impress either the American team, the British team, or wherever they they are making that um series for. They just want to impress the team that okay. Here in Serbia, they work fast, they work efficient, they control situation, and, and then we can come back so that, you know, with that influences money. Probably they may be getting over 500 euros for doing, just doing that stuff right there. So, you know, they want to, they want to push us out like, come on, we all are humans, we all are there for the same thing. We all are actors, although we're not in the spotlight, but we are basically pushing helping you push get helping you get help you create content for other persons around the world to be looking at so yeah the life on that stuff is definitely not the best i mean i wouldn't recommend persons to continue doing that that stuff but i mean as i i could i could agree with with you being like um having it as a side drop but not definitely some persons may make it uh, some persons make it a main job i mean some Serbians make it a main job because they go there every day and they get in paid for doing that stuff so but you know the pay is a lot smaller but over time to me over time it would add up to them but you know it doesn't i don't know it doesn't match up in my in in my in my reasoning it doesn't match up at all so i really don't know what is happening with that but you know for us <sighs> i'll tell you the pay the pay i got was basically 80 euros which is not good but at the same time beggars cannot be choosers so what can i do it's just uh, it's just terrible but anyhow, at least I got um, some money that I can go buy something.